Hey there, Jay here and over the weekend I watched Jurassic World Dominion. So today I'm gonna give my thoughts and review of the movie. So if you haven't watched Jurassic World Dominion and you want to watch it and you care about spoilers, don't watch this video and come back when you have watched the movie. But if you don't care about spoilers or you already watched the movie, feel free to continue on watching this video. So the given plot of this movie that it is it takes place four years after Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom after when Messi released the dinosaurs into the wild. So now the dinosaurs are running all around Earth and the characters have to face that. That is basically what the given plot was for this movie. I said the actual plot was not. Before I get into all the issues that I have with this movie, I'm going to talk about what I enjoyed about it. And what I enjoyed was the action and the wishes of this movie. Mostly the action because while the action wasn't what one would expect from a Jurassic Park, Jurassic World movie, it was shooting, it was entertaining, it was fun, and that was what worked for me. And it's enjoyable to watch at least. And that is pretty much it. The wishes as well, although some of the CGI on the dinosaurs were a bit questionably done, but there were some shots, some wishes that look really good and that's great. Aside from that, the rest of the movie is pretty much meat for me. Going back to what I said at the beginning of the video about the premise of this movie, it was a total mislead because the movie Jurassic World Dominion wasn't even about the dinosaurs that were running around the planet. I mean, sure, it was indirectly mentioned, indirectly affecting what happens in the movie, but that wasn't the main focus. Instead, the main focus was about a company that was creating giant lotus. Yeah. So, the title, the given premise was a misdirect itself. But okay, that is okay. And that is just my personal thoughts that perhaps they sh shouldn't have done this this way. But that is just my thoughts. But now I'm going to talk about the actual problems with this movie. So as I mentioned in my Out of Theatre Thoughts video for Jurassic World Dominion, I felt that the movie was imbalanced in a lot of the aspects and it just felt like the writers knew that this was going to be the conclusion of Jurassic World and wanted to put everything they could think of into this movie and the mixture doesn't work well. The movie felt like it didn't know what it wanted to be and it kind of lost its way with the tone and pacing quite often, especially in the second act, as fun as the sequence in Malta was, it felt more of a Mission Impossible movie than a Jurassic World, Jurassic Park movie. It affected the pacing of the movie quite a bit, and the movie is already packed with a lot of returning characters, with the characters that were already there, and I think they handled it the way they could for the story and I did enjoy some of the characters but then again, there were some characters that didn't even feel like they had arcs in this movie, they were just there. And it kind of feels meaningless in a way, so I'm not too sure what was the process when they came up with this story even because overall the story is a mess. Despite that the fan service moments were okay. Well some felt a bit overforced but some felt okay and it wasn't a total train wreck. There were some good moments but the bad moments were definitely a bit glaring in the eye. So yeah. Overall, while I enjoyed the movie a bit, it wasn't a good one really, and it's just my opinion, so if you disagree with me, that is okay. And if you want to 
let me know about your thoughts of this movie. Feel free to let me know in the conversation down below.